1949, when the Communist Party uh, took power in China, China has been on the side of Africa. Since China has grown economically, it has helped Africa even more, including Uganda. We don't agree with the shallow, shallow, what, what I said in, in, in my speech is what we have studied very carefully. You don't have to have the whole world thinking the same way. What is important is to have the minimum common interests and then deal with those and then you leave the other issues to each society. So uh, we are very happy with China. China's contribution in the anti-colonial struggle, in the economic cooperation uh, uh, area, China is acting correctly. What we want to emphasize now is market access. Because this is the best way to help one another and help one another sustainably. Because if you buy what I produce, you are supporting my prosperity. So China, to open their market to uh, African products, is a very easy way of how to help one another and for mutual benefit. So, so China should take the lead to, uh, to, to buy from Africa, to, but also to buy not raw materials, to buy also finished products so that we, we have balanced and value-added trade, in, in balanced trade in value-added items. We are most welcome. We are going to be together tomorrow on the G77.